Armani, my friend. We're on. Peasants. Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everyone, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. I am joined by Adam for the first time in person. Yes. It's nice, yes. isn't it? Yes. You look as good as you do on a, on camera. See, Kelly, I do. But uh, we're here to discuss the Longstaffs. 12 months to go on their current contracts, the pair of them this time. We've finished Matty's previous contract saga and he signed a new two year deal. This season hasn't gone to plan. No. Broad question to start. What's gone wrong and what do you do with them now? I think with Matty, there's definitely been someone behind the scenes, um, whether that's a falling out with Steve Bruce um, or his training training levels just not good enough. We don't know. We're not you know we don't train. We don't see them train every day. So that it's definitely one or the other. He's only played I think seven times in the first team this season, which is unbelievable considering all of last transfer window was. We need to time down the new deal. Steve Bruce just praising him, praising him, and then just never played him. Um, so there's clearly someone gone on behind the scenes. Um, we're sure he's had a bit more of a look in this last quarter of the season. He's upped his performances a bit, but are they the same standard they were, you know, when we were talking about big moves to Manchester United? Probably not. Um, I just don't think Steve Bruce rates a pair of them, to be honest. It's, it, it's an odd one. Um because you, you look back to the previous season where Sean got his chance at, at Bournemouth in the number 10 and he was fantastic. Obviously went off injured, but he's not played in the 10 since. No. Um, especially when we went through this phase of two false nine tens yeah. with a double pivot. Yeah, he was up front at one point, wasn't he? Yeah. Why hasn't he, why hasn't he featured back in his previous, his more accustomed role? And instead of resort to format, and he's like a deep lying midfielder. I think it's the fans who see him as the number ten. I don't think Bruce does. I think uh, it's the fans like me and you who've seen him in that role. I think he's maybe a bit more better suited. I still think Bruce sees him as either a holding midfielder or just someone that's just to sit alongside Shelby. Um, I said he was doing okay, but then you know who we've spoken about plenty of times on the show. And we'll go to Joe Willett came in for him yeah. and just showed exactly. He's got that bit more quality that Sean Longstaff doesn't. Sean's career is going to plod along fine. But I just can't see him really going anywhere. I don't think he'll ever move to a bigger club than Newcastle. I think he knows that. I want to see him be a success. You do with all the local lads. But he just need, I don't know if he just needs to kick up the arse or a, a better manager. Um, was it under Rafa? It wasn't under Rafa, wasn't it? He hit his, big, his good form. Um, so, yeah, it's disapp he's been really disappointing, the pair of them. Um, but I do think it comes down to coaching as well. 100%. And I think as well, as I was saying in one of the previous videos we recorded earlier today, um, Longstaff and Hayden in midfield when Sean first broke into the team was unbelievable. But now the midfield's so clogged up with <sighs> just bare average. average. Yeah. Hendrick, who's coming for key. Yeah. We've not really replaced Modi, are we? If no, you think not really. about not, it. not someone who's there to win the ball strongly and have a burst of pace going forward. That we haven't got a centre midfield like that. And you, and you would think that Matty would have come in and filled one of them positions, but Ooh. since his breakthrough season, it's just not clicked I, I, for him. I think we did a video at the start of the season when he signed the deal, and we were all over the moon. Um, and I think I suggested if he's not going to play, loan him out, loan him yeah. out to a Norwich or a Swansea or a Bournemouth. Someone who you know is going to be competing in the top six, well, have top six, seven of the championships, so he gets that experience. Don't just have him on the fringes of the team because it doesn't help us and it hasn't helped us. Yeah. And if reports are true and then he wants to leave, I don't blame him. You know, best of luck to him. Um, I just can't see under Steve Bruce because I, I think Bruce will want a centre midfielder this summer um, as well. Cause I, is Hendrick going to stay? I'm not sure. Um, are Matty and Sean going to get first team chances next season? No, yeah. They're not going to. Because the, the, the right down the pecking order of, of a group of average midfielders, um, Hayden, Shelby, Willick, if we can keep them, all start ahead of them. So it, it's a tough one for, the, for their careers, I think they're best moving on. I think a, a lot does depend on whether we can get Willick on a permanent or even if it's just another season long loan, something yeah. like that. But I suppose when you look at Hendrick, you look at Shelby, and the, and the two long staffs as well, these are. These are the players that kind of 
they bore the brunt of fans' frustrations at times. Well, why do you think that is? I mean, you mentioned Shelby. You know, you talk about work rate. Um, I think that's where you get the fans' frustration from him comes from. Um, Hendrick's just not good enough. He, he shouldn't be in a Newcastle United strip. Um, he started the season off reasonably well, actually, the first three or three, four games. He was OK. But I think when we see local lads who we've seen the potentials, Longstaff, uh, Matty and Sean Longstaff, and then you see the likes of Hendrick who consistently got chores over him, it was frustration. That's not Hendrick's fault, to be fair, but we just want to see local lads come in and do well. But again, they have been criticised, as you said. Um, it's, it's a, we're a funny fan base at times, really. So it's a, it's a tough one. I just want to see them come in and do well, but I just can't see them getting the chance under this under this manager. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head there. Um, I think we are a funny fan base at times because I think we criticise them because they're Geordies, any 29 lads, and other times we go easy on them because for the same reason. Yeah. But the, I think the thing is. A lot has to come down to the manager and how he's using these players. Matty in particular, because credit to Steve Bruce, he brought in Matty for that Man United game and what an introduction to Premier League football, getting the winner at the Gallagher end against Manchester United. Had a few more fleeting appearances against the better teams in the division and this season as well gets brought in against the better teams in the division. Now he can't even make a match day squad. A lot surely does have to be pointed at the manager. It is, and it, as I mentioned at the start, we, we don't see what happens in training. There was, there was a lot of rumours it was it was Matty Longstaff or someone close to him who was selling the stories about the, the bust up with Matt Ritchie over stuff that's gone on. It's been a, a traumatic season, really, behind the scenes that Bruce has had to deal with. Um, and if Steve Bruce thinks that, he isn't going to pick him. He, he isn't. If he doesn't think Matty's working hard enough or he's, he's going behind his back, he isn't going to pick him. That would happen in any team. Um, as, as, as I said, Bruce is not helped a lot of players develop um, in this team since he's come in he has he has stopped a lot you know you we could go over in a different video the amount of players that have gone back with Shaw etc um, under Bruce and, and the long staffs are, are two of them unfortunately um, Steve Bruce is going to have to give them assurances they're going to get some sort of first team football if they stay because as you said Matty just comes in against the big guns I think he came in against Chelsea Man City United this season yeah. and I think he hopes that he'll just get that odd goal but Matty needs a run of games or he'll, he'll go out on loan but uh, is he ready for the Premiership? I don't think so. I think he'll get a move for the Championship. Just to wrap up with then, um, kind of two back-to-back questions. One, do you see them both or either of them or neither of them still at the club for the first game of the season? And then on the back of that, let's assume we're still playing with the 3-5-2, 5-3-2 formation that we ended the previous season with. Who would be your midfield three in an ideal world? In an ideal world, if, if Willock's there, hopefully Joe Willock, Isaac Hayden, um, and I'd have one of the long staffs in there. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see Matty get a good shot, a good run in the team. Um, obviously, I'll have to take Shelby out. Um, Shelby has been better this, this last few games of the season, but I, I think the team's built around him too much. Um, I, I think we'll be a better team if we go forward without him. That's just my personal opinion. I know other people on the channel will disagree. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I want to see one of the long staffs. I, I don't think getting rid of them. Both of them, it'll do us any good. Um, but uh, Hayden, Willick, hopefully, fingers crossed, pray for that one. And Matty Longstaff, like, I think it'll be a, a good combination. Matty going to be here for the new season then? No, I don't think he will. I think he'll go. I'd like to see him stay, um, but I, I do think he'll go on loan. Oh, he's, he's in his last year. What are we going to get from three or four million, if that? There's not, a, he's not a great, there's not a lot of profit to be made on him. So no, it'd probably I, be I think, a, a low fee with a heavy sell on. Yeah, or if you can get five million, that'll contribute towards Willock. They'll, they'll use it. Well, there we have it for, for my ten pence worth. I think Steve Bruce has done an appalling job with Matty Longstaff, and we we just don't know. We haven't got to the bottom of him yet. Um, the fact that he's mucking around with his kid's career is disgusting, in my opinion. But uh, as Adam says rightly, there he needs a run of games to see whether he can cut the grade or not. Let us know your thoughts, get in the comments and please do like the video and stay tuned to Newcastle Fans TV.